Alright, hey guys, welcome back to an exciting episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Team, currently, Mikale at level 28, Combuskin still destroys things. Uh, Phantasm, level 22, Wingull, and finally, Athlon. So, here's the deal with the Max Aether and why I've decided to make this move of using it on Athlon now to get Athlon up to a decent level. Um, Max Aether is one of those items where, as you progress in the game, it begins to exhibit diminishing returns. Because the difference between... Because right now, if I use the Max Aether on Sludge, I can get 20 more power points, which... If I figure out, if I eventually discover Sludge to one-hit KO Pokemon, that's 20 more Pokemon, as opposed to an Aether which would just have net me 10. Of course, it's also worth mentioning that I lose out on a lot of experience points by not using that on Phantasm's Wing Attack, but really, it's Aflin who needs it more. But as opposed to just a regular Aether which will get you 10, and later in the game, most of your power moves that you'll need to be power point restoring will just take a regular Aether, because it's only, only 10. So because most of them will only have about 10 or so power points. So, it's occurred to me that, in reality, the Max Aether is probably best used now. Did I remember to switch Aflin to first, to first position, even? Nope, I did not remember this. Oh, whoops. I'll just use a pack then. Right quick! God, I remember training my first ever Laron in here all those years ago. This very patch of grass. Alright, so you guys can probably skip this. It's going to be mostly grinding with maybe some trainers at the end, but I'll probably start a new episode for the trainers. Volbeat is one of those annoying Pokemon because it uses a move called Moonlight, which heals its hit points. So... I'm gonna put. Th I'm gonna be putting all the Volbeat that I see to sleep, so that they cannot bother me with Moonlight. Also, Confuse Ray, which I didn't see coming. That's annoying. Go figure, right? Go figure, right? So now I suppose I switch out to Phantasm because that one Wing Attack is kind of worth it. I'd forgot. I'd have forgotten entirely that they used that they would use Confuse Ray on you. I probably ought to train Phantasm a little bit too, if it's eventually a heal that's going to be used. Phantasm can probably make it three levels from here, but the idea is that Phantasm won't have to make it three levels on his own, because Athlon will be of help. So yeah, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get a lot done between here and the uh, uh, Malville Gym. The greatest thing about Aflin, Aflin cannot be poisoned. Poison does not affect Aflin. It is worthless for this Roselia to try and poison Aflin. Although, I suppose Stun Spore might still be a worthwhile use of power points for it, but I don't care about Stun Spore. It's also uh, Roselia's ability, which is Poison Point, which occasionally poisons you if you try to use a contact move on it. Do you know what that does to Aflin? Zero things. Because Aflin is a poison type Pokemon, and poison type Pokemon cannot be poisoned. Alright, well that's dangerously close. It's about time for a soda pop now. Alright, um, time for soda pop, time for soda pop, time for soda pop, time for soda pop. Soda pop. Athlon's hit points are restored, and I'm gonna train him here a little bit more before attempting to go do wind straighty things, which you'll find out what wind straighty things are pretty shortly. Here's another Roselia that probably wants me uh, paralyzed or something annoying like that. Oh, critical hit. Fantastical! Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> I don't I don't know if Roselia even knows Stone Spore. I sort of am inclined to think it does, but it may not. It may just be like Absorb Growth and Poison Sting or something. Athlon is at level 20. Beautiful. Ah, I said beautiful. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Alvin's a level 20, which is great. Um, I think I'm going to try and get him to 21 or thereabouts. I'm hoping Sludge is a one-hit KO. It's totally not, but I'm hoping that it is. Watch that not be a one-hit KO. Okay, good, but at least it's a two-hit KO. Uh, I no longer care. I'm gonna go for Mikale on this one. I'm sorry, but I don't want to risk missing a sludge. Like, it sort of occurs to me that by having Mikale as my sort of pillar of I can go to Mikale if anything bad looks like it's going to happen, sort of works in my favor, I have to say, in a pretty significant way. Having Mika... Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I promise you guys. I'm sorry. I know I know that it means you love me because you guys are watching the skipped ones, or at least that you don't loathe me, and I'm just repaying you with stupidity, and I'm so terribly sorry. Ugh, this Roselia is nasty. It's doing four with its absorb, and it's faster than me. Oh, but you know what it's not... Oh, stun spore, stun spore, stun spore alert! The hideous stun spore that I'm not prepared to deal with. <sighs> so that about tears it. That means I have to use a heal before I go up against Watson. Which is freaking obnoxious. Oh god, I hate paralysis. <laughs> Oh, Afflin looks like is, is looks like Afflin's going to be a status absorber again. Then, double team is annoying, which means I'll probably be wasting pound power points or something. Not that pound power points are all that valuable. I bet I won't even be able to uh, defeat it with pound before it wakes up. Could well have been a waste of a yawn, which is annoying. Yeah, because double team still works even while it's asleep, and Afflin's gonna get paralyzed. Sads. Now it's gonna wake up and use Annoying Ray and make me switch out for Phantasm. Afflin has hurt itself in its confusion every time it's been confused. Bar zero times. I'm just annoyed at myself for thinking Roselia didn't know Stun Spore. Oh, that would... Eh. Frighteningly too close for comfort. Not doing that again. It was a bad idea. Not doing it again. Okay. Time to continue on with this madness. I wish I had another Paralyze heal. Or some kind of heal. So that I could at least not get flinched to death by the Zigzagoons. Sort of banking on Mikale's power points here, and Mikale's not getting killed to dispose of the uh, Zigzagoon threat. Peck is not even close to a one hit KO. Peck is a, I'm lame and I won't even come close to KO and hit KO. I wonder if Ember stole one hit KO. Oh, the power creep, man. Maybe I should feel really bad about genociding these wild Pokemon, seeing as this is a Nuzlocke and all, and... Well, at least the fact that Athlon is paralyzed means he has zero things to fear from Roselia's. I guess that's a plus. He does have his own paralysis to fear, though. He also has getting hit for reasonable amounts of damage with Absorb to fear, but that's not that scary. Really, why not use Pound on these? That's why not. <laughs> oh, I see. So your AI is 
entirely roulette based. How about that? I feel like it's probably foolish to use more uh, sludges. Plus to sludges kiss se necessaire. What does that even mean? I just strung words together. Full of words and fury, but signifying nothing. No, I'm just gonna have to deal with being paralyzed. <sighs> I don't like being paralyzed. Paralysis is a cruel mistress. Or something. If you can really call it a mistress. Just don't want to get slowly whittled down by all these grass types. I like Roselia. At least Roselia is worth the power points you use to defeat it, right? Zigzagoon is worth the uh, switching out to Mikole. And there's no reason not to use Double Kick here. I mean, I guess seeing if Ember will KO is a reason. I mean, I'm a little concerned, because Mikole is still carrying the team. Mikole, Mikole, like, there would still be a huge problem with Athlon and Zigzagoon if it weren't for Mikole, because Athlon can't deal with Zigzagoons. Zigzagoons and their headbutts would just tear him to shreds. Okay, it's about time for that Max Aether I was talking about earlier. I'll see if I can beat a few Pokemon with Pound, but honestly... It's got to be Sludge for the most part. I think Roselia is the Pokemon that I'm best equipped to defeat with Pound. But really, I'd much rather be using those Pounds getting easy experience points from, like, Wizmers. Wizmers that I could one-hit KO, although maybe I couldn't outspeed them anyways, so... Ah, there's par there's Paralysis. So it looks like they know Growth, Stun Spore, Poison Sting, and... Is that three in a row? Really? Yeah, but Poison Sting is entirely irrelevant against a Poison type. Okay, continuing to train, continuing to train. I'm gonna try doing this one with just Pound, see how it goes. I mean, I suppose it was inevitable that Aflin would get paralyzed if I was gonna go by this plan. I mean, I was hoping that Roselia would know, like, Poison Powder or something. But, god, everything in this game knows stuns for. This is not even the last route where there's excessive stun sporing. Absorb is the only move that kind of threatens me, and it doesn't actually threaten me all that much. It threatens me by 4 hit points maximum of damage. I may use another soda pop on Aflin, which would be incredibly annoying. Um, yeah, right, okay. I am going to defeat one more Pokemon with Sludge, and then I'm going to try my hand at the Wind Straits. Or I'm going to defeat one more Zigzagoon, and then one more Pokemon with Sludge, and then I'll try my hand at the Wind Straits. I don't know how well Paraflan is going to do there, but... Hopefully Paraflan will make a name for Paraflan's self. Um, how many soda pops do I still have left? Is it two or three? Psh, three. So, um, yeah. One soda pop for Aflan. No, but I need another for a... That's an Illumize. Illumize likes Yawn. Illumize doesn't like Yawn, actually, but Illumize is gonna get Yawn.
Yeesh, that's a lot of damage. This is where I switch in a uh, Phantasm on the assurance that he will not become damaged. Because I've recognized that Afflin is not really capable of defeating this Illumise. Only putting it to sleep and swapping himself out for Phantasm and Wing Attack. Ish. Except I didn't realize Wing Attack was that weak. That's sort of sad. That's a super effective move. I still haven't found my other Roselia for Sludge. Yeesh, I feel really dirty using Mikolo here anyways, but... If I have Mikolo at level 30 before I battle the gym... But I need to have good strong Pokemon, unless something bad happens. So I'm definitely going to go reasonably all out on training up my two Pokemon that are not Mikale, at least at this point in time. Alright, let's yawn it up. And let's get confused. Yeah! Welp, how about that? Back to Mikale. I actually don't really want to deal with the whole win straight business right now. I'd sort of rather wait until immediately after the soda pop, so that if Afflin still has a reasonable number of hit points by then, I can make a juice of them. More zigzagoons. What do you do when you run into zigzagoons? You switch out to Mikale. These Pokemon no longer really scare Zigzago uh, Mikale's total hit point total hit points because they're never really doing anything to get her close to to get him close to a uh, low zero zero getting close to zero. I'm sorry, I'm not saying very many things that interest you right now or doing many things that interest you right now, but I'm trying to talk on autopilot as best as I can. Oh, here we go. Here's a Roselia. A Roselia for sludging. For the sludging. Although, could be a Roselia for the pounding. No, I'll go for the sludging. Eventually, Afflin's gonna get kinda low on hit points, but... Ooh, a critical hit. I'm glad I went for the sludging. Level 22. Ah, it's nice to be outside. Okay, uh, I don't really remember where I was. Right, I was becoming perturbed about the one sludge power point I have left, and when the max ether is going to get used. Sorry, had to get water. So my hope is that at least uh, Sludge plus uh, Pound will be able to defeat it before it wakes up. Okay there, 5 hit points of damage in exchange for a Sludge, which deals about 50%. I don't know what would have happened if I had poisoned it there. Poison and then it, was, then it would be set up for sleeping, but... This is not going to work well. It's going to wake up. If that Volby wakes up like now and uses Moonlight, I'm going to be deeply saddened. Okay, clearly the uh, Sludge and then Pound strategy is deeply flawed. Especially since it doesn't even net, net as much experience points as a single Roselia does. I'm going to use my Max Aether on Afflin's Sludge. PP was restored.
There's a Zigzagoon, which means the usual swapping out to Mikale. We still is basically infinite engine of destruction. So maybe I ought to have just swapped out to Mikale for all of this. I mean, I feel really guilty. It's not as though I'm breaking any of my own rules by using Mikale. But I don't really like I don't I don't want Mikale to get too high in terms of experience points. <sighs> Obviously the fate of Afflin and Fan Afflin, Phantasm, and Mikale, th their fates are intimately tied together at this point. And experience points given to Mikale are experience points given to the survival of the other two. But I nevertheless feel as though the stronger Mikale gets, uh, the more likely that... Attack missed. The more likely I am to regret training him exclusively. Still, I'll keep that. I'll, st I'll keep at this for a time being, and the time being, until I have a good excuse to stop. Afflin needs not a few more levels of growth, but a few more hit points of damage before I'm ready to take on the wind straits. I mean, even then, I'm gonna do a phantasm first. I'm gonna use two of my last soda pops. Gonna go really all out here in pursuit of. Gonna go really all out here in pursuit of. Um, in pursuit of training so that my team can be in a stable state for after Watson. Who's the third? Who's the uh, electric type gym leader, by the way? Mikolay's attack missed. Go figure. Well, Ember is still a cataclysmic one-hit KO on nearly anything it connects with. And another Zigzagoon. Go, Mikale! Grinding doesn't really lend itself to very many interesting um, moments. Maybe I could tell you guys some sort of stories from my youth. Except for, really, in the, in the grand scheme of things, I still am my youth, so I don't really have a whole lot of things to say about that. Because Mikolai is not going to get another potion between now. Mikolai is not going to get another heal between now and the uh, heal before Watson, which is probably going to be Duford, I suppose. Yep, sounds about right to me. Ember, let's go. I actually sort of think that a better rule might not necessarily be you have to do all your routes in order. Like, I don't, I don't think that rule is necessary, really. Because you're going to do your routes in order. I mean, what what really matters is that you do all of the is that you choose when you train uh, which Pokemon and uh, let me let me see if I can better articulate what I'm trying to say. I don't think the route restriction is really worth my while because it restricts when you can access some areas, and moreover, the only real issue is people using heals in the middle of the routes, which. I, and like people going back when their Pokemon look like they're about to faint and oh well oh, that's still a problem oh well that's an issue I'll have to work on later just like I'll have to work on the issue of Mikale being so strong later I think the problem with that is that I didn't try to spread out my experience points evenly enough I'm gonna see if I can do that with the uh, later Pokemon that I encounter but the hardest Pokemon to train are the ones that you get earliest in the game, so I think I'm justified in using a lot of Soda Pops here to get the rest of my team up to scratch with Mikolay. Up to scratch? Does that even mean anything? Tail Whip. And Mikolay Ember. So, I figure I ought to deal with the Wind Straits sooner or later before I go battle Watson. But is that an unfair use of power, because the wind straights are technically part of the next section? 
I'm part of the giant Fall Arbor cruise. I don't really think so, but I can see why it might be interpreted as such. So, I'll try to do the, the east route first, and then if I think that there's a way that I can do this without doing the wind straights first, I'll go ahead and do that. The issue is I really can't train a... I really can't train Phantasm in this section. Because all the Pokemon here can inflict him with can inflict him with some sort of crippling status condition. I don't like to be crippled by status conditions. Thank you very much. Alright, Absorb is still mostly ineffectual. Once I get near ten or so, then I'll uh use my soda pop. How wasteful. Yeah, once I get near ten or so, I'll use my soda pop. Because I don't think there's that much that's going to be hitting Affluent for a whole lot of damage anyways. Affluent is trying to learn Encore. What a beautiful move. But what to replace for it? Not Pound, because I need it. Not Yawn, because it's awesome. And not Sludge, because I definitely need it. I'm gonna go for Amnesia here. If I regret it, then I regret it. But Afflin can't heal himself anyway, so I think Encore is the better choice. Ah, water is delicious. Anyway, where was I? Oh, that's right. I was battling with Aflin. See, now now you're going to see why Encore is delicious, because I can trick someone into using the same move over and over again, specifically this Volbeat. Um, let's go yawn it. Yeah, so that did a depressingly high amount of damages. Depressingly high amount of damages. And sludge. Okay, I use double team. I double team bothers me. In an existential way. Otherwise known as it's an annoying freaking move. But like I could you but like if I were faster than the wild Roselias, I could encore their poison stings or something to ensure that they do nothing worthwhile to me. But of course, I'm paralyzed. Ah, the woes of paralysis. And I probably have to use the double sludge here, even though that's annoying. Triple sludge. Because if it wakes up and uses moonlight, that's going to be Quadruple Sludge. That's uncalled for. I mean, come on. I, ca I call uncalled for. Three sludges, and I have to use my potion, and I don't even get the full experience points. This is one annoying Volby. That's annoying. I'm sorry I'm being so ranty. The fruits of Afflin's labor? Moonlight. Yep. Moonlight. And it takes a Mikule Ember. Anyway, I'd better sweep this gym, because otherwise it's really scary to me. Okay. I'm going to use one Soda Pop on Afflin. And another Soda Pop on Phantasm. Alright. I've officially used up a lot of items, and grinding session temporarily done. Uh, this has been another exciting episode of this thing. Um, when we re when we return to the episodes that people are actually going to want to pay attention to, I'm going to battle more trainers, train my Pokemon some more, and eventually challenge the third gym. Alright, that about concludes.